Our group disability policy is really as bad as you say. You know, in my book, Robbery Without a Gun, I really uh, lay it all out against these group disability policies. Um, and yeah, I do think they are as bad as I say. I do think that they are virtual sham policies. They provide typically very little protection, uh, certainly after the first two years of benefits. They massively discriminate against the mentally ill by limiting benefits there. Um, and they typically have so much fine print um, that it's very hard to get a claim paid. But the worst part about these group disability policies is that uh, if you go into court, it, it is presumed and assumed, typically, that the insurance company is right. And so if you go in front of a federal judge, you not only have to prove that the insurance company was wrong, but that they were so wrong it wasn't even reasonable. They weren't even within the bounds of discretion, as these policies say. So yeah, by all means, if you can't afford an individual policy, a private disability policy, they're more expensive, they are much, much better than your employer's group disability policy as a whole.